The kingdom is in peril. A great evil threatens to sweep across the land, forever changing. I got a message on my here. Let me put my phone on do not disturb mode here. <laughs> the kingdom is in peril. A great evil threatens to sweep across the land, forever changing all that we know and hold dear. But yet, there is hope. A group of great adventurers rise to the challenge to combat this evil and save the kingdom and all its inhabitants. Meglius the Fair, the greatest rogue the kingdom has to offer. Master of the Thieves' Guild, expert with knives, and her wit, just as sharp as her blades. Ruby Hammerwhacker, the priestess of light devoted to stopping evil in all forms and a master healer. She is known around the kingdom for her beauty and voracious appetite. And we come to the leader of this motley crew, Sir Penticto, the best the Royal Guard has to offer. An honorable but obtuse man who has not yet known the taste of defeat in combat. <laughs> Guys, you know the one rule. Don't spill food on the board. Okay, that was pretty funny, guys, but please, seriously, can we get back to the game? We return to the winter forest, snow covering all that you see. Seriously, dude? You're killing the immersion. Yeah, can we get serious? Lose the noodles. Thank you. So the party... Oh. The party approaches a fire burning next to the woods. A mysterious figure sits next to it. You are unsure if it is friend or foe. Regardless, the party readies themselves for whatever might be thrown at them by this figure. As they approach... Are you expecting someone? Babe, can you go get that? Yep. Oh, hi! I noticed that you guys had some cars on the street, and I was wondering if you're having people over, and... Oh, what's this? It looks like you're playing some sort of game. Oh, this looks so fun! Can I join? Uh, sorry, game's full. Yeah, they won't let anybody play. Oh, okay, well, I'll just be next door if you need another player. Bye. So glad she's gone. She's so weird. You know, the other weekend I caught her going through our recycling. I know, dude. It's ridiculous. I don't know what she wants from us. If you guys don't want to include anybody, why am I even here? Well, why don't you just go wait on the couch? We're almost done here. Well, it's getting pretty late. I think I should be going. Well, she's my ride. See you guys. All right. See ya. Have a good night. I don't know, man. Do you ever think we should just stop doing this? I just want to see where this goes. Sir Penticto stands alone. What will he do? Uh, what do I do? Gee, I don't know, you're a knight. Maybe try your sword? Yeah, sure, I'll try my sword. Sir Penticto tries to draw his sword, but finds that it is frozen to its scabbard and will not come undone. Maybe he should pay better attention to his surroundings. My surroundings? Well, it doesn't seem to be attacking me. You sense no ill will coming from the figure. Perhaps maybe it's just in distress and needs help. He feels a sense of familiarity to it, and not danger. You should probably give it a hug, dude. I think you should give it a hug. I'm sorry about tonight. I was just so focused on the game. It's not that. I just want to be included and be part of your world. And with that, our two knights begin a new adventure. With understanding gained. A new outlook. A new perspective. A new quest. What will befall the two travelers?
what won't they be able to overcome together? Three, two, up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Do I let her in? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.